immense. The snake? Yeah. Hey! Ow. Can they bite? <laughs> yeah, it does. It bites? Is it poisonous? No, not much. Not much? Can I get out now? Hello there. It's going to be one of those weekends, really, where we get a bit of sunshine and a bit of rain as well. It looks like Saturday will be a much drier day in Scotland, where we had a lot of shower clouds on Friday. We see more cloud coming in from the uh, southwest as well, and that is due to this area of low pressure that's just going to hang around really throughout the uh, weekend. It does mean as we start the weekend, we've got quite muggy air across the uh, south of England, south Wales, 15 degrees here. It's cooler air that we've got in Scotland in those showers in the north, 10 or 11 degrees. The showers in Scotland do become fewer, mind you. A bit of a dull, misty, damp start across parts of Wales and the southwest of England, and this cloud is gradually going to work its way northwards. More in the way of sunshine, though, across Scotland as those showers become fewer, but the cloud will be increasing in Northern Ireland and Northern England, bringing a bit of rain and drizzle, especially later on in the day. Could be a bit damp still across the north of Wales, even across to the North Midlands into East Anglia, but to the south of here we should get some sunshine coming through, especially in the southeast of England, temperatures reaching a pleasant 23 degrees, and we could make 19 or 20 in the sunshine in the central belt of Scotland. Now that area of low pressure moves slowly into the UK. A few weather fronts on the scene, they're all pretty weak, mind you. This one here is going to bring more in the way of showers, wetter weather into the north and northeast of Scotland. Could be some rain first thing on Sunday in southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. That'll move its way southwards into northern England. You're going to find it brightening up as well across southern Scotland and Northern Ireland. But a few more showers and more cloud coming into Wales and the southwest, head further east towards East Anglia in the southeast. Again, the best of the sunshine. For many temperatures aren't changing much, but it is getting colder in Northern this Scotland. This is BBC World News. Southern Europe, though, sees extreme heat through this weekend. Could see temperatures hitting 48 degrees in Spain. By contrast, it's cool air, northwesterly breeze that's heading our way for the start of the new week. Probably won't be much rain. Overnight rain clears away from southern parts of England. We're left with a few showers, probably quite a bit of cloud streaming our way as well. And that colder air that we're seeing in Scotland is pushing its way southwards across the UK. So top temperature 20, maybe 21 degrees in Hampshire. And as we head further into next week, it's fairly quiet, settled weather, a few showers, a lot of cloud, mind you. And it's not looking particularly warm for this time of the year. Muya was a hell. Behind every headline. I had this feeling that I'm entering a prison. There is a human story. <laughs> Kenya. This is our world. Put your hands on the corner. I just seen the cops kill somebody. They were treating me as if I was the suspect. A series of documentary films that reveal the human drama at the heart of global events. If I'm in jail, I'm living my life meaningfully. To urge the world to keep focused on what's happening in Hong Kong. I've got to accept where I'm at and not let it get me down. Our mind and the unity we have. There's the powerful things in the world. Our world. This weekend on the BBC News Channel and BBC iPlayer. It could be another season to savour. Every game. Oh. Every goal. That has flown it! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Oh, magnificent! Every angle. So we should have had a penalty. It's not a penalty. That's a penalty. Every week. Great save! The corner hammers it! Oh, magnificent! Match of the Day returns tonight at 10.20 on BBC One and iPlayer. The source of all life, flowing through history and shaping humanity, boils down to one simple molecule, H2O, the molecule that made us starts Wednesday the 25th of August on BBC4 and iPlayer.
making sure the vaccine flows to the developing world. That gives us the best chance of keeping the disease under control. This is not a drill. Just over there, we're already being shadowed by a Russian warship. The national team stands for everybody. That togetherness has to continue. I wanted to enjoy every minute of it, and I did. There's Sir Richard Branson now. You're positive for HTLV3. The outlook's not good. The BBC News Channel. More than just the headlines. A compelling, emotional and definitive portrait of a footballing life like no other. Finding Jack Charlton, streaming now on BBC iPlayer. Hello, good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Naga Munchetti and Roger Johnson. Our headlines today. The three-year-old girl and her father. Just two of the victims in Britain's worst mass shooting for a decade. Jake Davison's gun and permit were confiscated by police after he was accused of assault but returned to him weeks before the attack. The police watchdog investigates why. Crisis in Afghanistan. The US government warns the Taliban could seize the capital within a month as militants continue to make gains across the country. And what a start for Brentford. They stun Arsenal in a buzzing Brentford Community Stadium as fans return and the Premier League season begins. Good morning. It's a variable weekend weather-wise. We've got low pressure moving in from the west, bringing a bit of rain for some of us, but equally some sunshine on the cards too. I'll have all your weather details here on BBC Breakfast. It's Saturday the 14th of August. Our top story today, hundreds of people gathered at a candlelit vigil in Plymouth last night to remember the five people killed in Thursday's mass shooting. The youngest victim, Sophie Martin, was just three years old. It comes as an investigation is launched by the police watchdog to understand why the gunman, Jake Davison, was allowed to take back his confiscated firearm and permit weeks before the attack. Aruna Iyengar reports. <laughs> 